In this video, I'll show you how to add a default quantity in your WooCommerce store in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so here we are in our WordPress store. And if we go ahead and refresh this particular product here, automatically it's showing the default quantity as five. Okay, so from here, the customers can still select less than five or they can select more than five. So this is just um, the default quantity. So we can show it for all products or a particular products. Okay, okay, so we've got two options to achieve this. So we can set it on a global level. Um, so it will apply to all products or we can customize this um, on a per product basis. Okay. So so if you want to create a similar setup on your WooCommerce store, the first step is to head over to WooSuite.com. Go ahead and download the WooSuite Minimum Maximum Quantity Rules plugin. I'll leave the link in the description below. Once you've done so, let's head over to our dashboard. Okay, so here we are in our WordPress dashboard. Assuming you've downloaded the WeSuite MinMax Rules plugin, you'll just go ahead and upload that plugin. So you will go plugins, add new, go ahead and upload and install the plugin. Once you've done so, you'll see this WeSuite menu here. Click activate, enter in your license key, then it'll automatically take you to this add-ons page here. Okay, from here, we can activate the MinMax um, Quantity Rules plugin. Okay, so we can just toggle this to on and then we'll see this manage option here. So we can go ahead and click on it. I've already got it open in a new tab, so I'll X this off. Okay, and then from here, we can create various different rules, right? We can create minimum um, order quantity, maximum order value and so on. Okay, and then here, but what we're interested in this particular video is where it says global default quantity and it's exactly how it sounds. So from here, we can specify um, the global um, default quantity for all products, okay? So in my case, I've just added five here and I've actually skipped past this option. So where it says applies to, here we need to specify who we want this particular rule to apply to. So currently it's set to everyone. We can set it to guest users, which are users logged out of your site or a specific user role as well, okay? So throughout this example, I'm just gonna set this to everyone, okay? And then finally, we've got the option to add um, another rule group. So for example, we could have a default quantity showing to logged out customers and another default quantity is showing to users logged in, okay? Just as an example. So as I said, this is set to five and it's what we saw in the intro when we view any of our page. So if I refresh this page, we'll see it's set to five and we can change this to say 15, for example, and we'll just save changes. Okay, and then when we go ahead and view our product, when we refresh this page, it should say 15, okay? So let's go ahead and refresh this. Okay, here it's showing one, but I think it's because this thing's in the way. So if we go ahead and expand um, this selection slightly, we should be able to see the 15. So let's expand our input field. And let's remove the padding and see. Okay, so I'll just remove the padding um, and here we can see it says 15, right? Okay, so that's the first method, um, changing the default quantity on a global level. Now we'll do it on a product level. Okay, so I'll navigate to my shop page. In fact, we'll stick to the same product. We'll just go ahead and edit this product and then we'll change the default quantity um, for this particular product. So I'll just click edit, open it in a new tab. Okay, and then when we scroll down, We'll see this minimum maximum quantity rules section here, powered by the WeSuite plugin. So similar to on a global level, we get to choose who we want this rule to apply to. So again, everyone, guest users or a specific user role. And then here we can set various options such as the minimum quantity allowed, maximum and so on. Okay, but again, what we're interested in is where it says default quantity. So for example, we can say 20. So we can say the default quantity for this particular product is 20, okay? And how it works is whenever you set a rule on a product level, it will automatically override the rule on a global level, okay? So the rule on a product level takes priority over the global level. Okay, so we'll just hit update. And then when we view this product, the default quantity should be 20. So again, it's showing two. This is due to padding issues within this theme. So if I quickly switch the theme, we'll be able to see a bit more clearly. So I'm just gonna quickly change my theme. Okay, and now let's refresh this page. Okay, and here we can see the default quantity is 20, right? And that's how you add a WooCommerce default quantity in just a few simple steps. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.